Hey everybody, my name is David. Welcome back to Brickworld. There are plenty of TIE variants out there in the Star Wars universe and a lot of them we actually already built here at the studio. We have over 20 TIE variants available on Brickworld. I'm pretty sure that's a world record. But every time you think there can't be another one, an awesome builder who we didn't know existed comes up with yet another great LEGO build for a TIE variant. This time it's builder Pike's Creations who designed the TIE Droid, an automated TIE fighter version that was used during the Empire times 10 years after the Battle of Yavin. This variant comes from the Expanded Universe and was first seen in the 1992 Dark Empire comic and later also seen in the 1998 video game Woke Squadron. This is actually a pretty old design for a TIE fighter. The most interesting appearance, I think though, is the inclusion of it in a LEGO set from 2004, the TIE Collection, which features all the usual TIEs we know, and then this weird one, such a weird addition to a LEGO set, but I kinda love that it got some love from LEGO back then, and who said that LEGO doesn't do weird TIE fighters. Anyways, this TIE here comes with 617 pieces and you can build it yourself for just around 50 to 60 US dollars, which is a great price for a mock like this actually. For that, head on over to brickvault.toys to get the instructions and parts list together with a guide on how to easily order all pieces you need online. With your purchase, you not only support us, but also the builders we work with, like Pi Creations. So feel free to do so, so we can continue what we love most here at the studio. Back to the TIE droid. You can see the dimensions flashing by right now, and for proper size reference, I had to put a candle next to the model, which tells you absolutely nothing about anything. But what does give you a good size reference is putting other TIE variants next to it, like the TIE Scout or the TIE Silencer. The model itself is pretty straightforward though, the building process was really enjoyable, I built it myself and had a ton of fun doing so. You first put together the middle section to form the ball in the middle and then the two solar panels get attached to each side. Speaking of, they are super smooth, again using a technique called snot where you lay the pieces on their sides to avoid studs. That was done using a lot of those black bracket pieces which worked out well here. The wings get attached at an angle, they are angled outwards with the help of clips which lock them into place pretty securely. It stays at this position whatever you do and it was super satisfying connecting them. The ball section in the middle that usually is a cockpit for a pilot in other TIE variants does not have an interior here since this whole ship is automated, hence the name TIE droid. But instead it has this cool transfer dish in the front that kinda looks like a menacing eye and I'm sure rebels were frightened when they looked up and saw said glowing eye from this drone above them. In the back there are two ion engines. If you didn't know, the name TIE stands for Twin Ion Engine, so that makes sense. The underside looks very finished as well and we don't see the underside of plates anywhere on this build. Now for handling, this is another instance of a LEGO build being super intuitive to handle. Pike's Creations did not cut corners here. If I didn't build the thing myself, I would just grab the ball from behind and that's exactly what you do. It's super easy to swoosh around and play with like that, which was what I naturally did when I finished building. The shape is just so inviting to pick it up and fly around. But other sections are pretty sturdy on this build too. Nothing on this model feels weak in any way. You are even able to pick it up by the wings without any issues, so this makes it one of the most playable models in our web store. And if you want to experience what I experienced owning this ship, Make sure to check out the instructions and parts list on our web store www.brickworld.toys or click the link in the video description. Please consider liking if you enjoyed the quick build this week, another cool addition to the ever-growing TIE collection. You don't want to miss out on next week's mock release. Trust me, that will be an absolute fan favorite. We generally have such cool builds in the pipeline, things I personally always wanted to see built out of LEGO. I can't wait to show you. So make sure to subscribe to not miss out on that. If you like high-end mocks in general, Mike goes through the best mocks that get built by the community each week so consider checking that out as well. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you next time at Brickvault. <laughs>